Hi all, it's Dave here from RackNerd and I have some exciting news that will benefit most of our shared and reseller hosting customers. Let's get into it. We're pleased to announce that Jet Backup version 5 has been released. A lot of new and exciting features that you can now use all at no extra charge to you. In this video, we'll be going over some cool new features. At the time of this video, our newer shared and reseller hosting services are already deployed with Jet Backup version 5. Services that are still running on version 4 will be updated to version 5 gradually. Jet Backup version 5 provides a new intuitive interface that you can use within cPanel. For example, if you're a reseller hosting customer, you can manage backups for all your sub cPanel accounts, aka your customers within one interface. To get started, you'll want to log into your cPanel account. Click on Jet Backup 5 under the file section of the cPanel interface. If you're a reseller, you will be able to see all your sub accounts under this interface and choose to restore the accounts if needed. If you have a shared hosting account, you will see a similar interface except you will only see the one account here, which will be yours. Previously in Jet Backup version 4, if you're a reseller, you would have to head to log into each cPanel account individually in order to manage their backups. Now as a reseller, you can manage it under your primary accounts interface. To do this, let's click on accounts on the left hand side. And as you can see, I have two sub accounts here named client one and client two. If I wanted to restore client one from a backup, all I need to do is click on it and then select view backups. And then from there, click on restore. In addition, you will now have the ability to manage individual aspects of the backup. For example, if you wanted to view specific file only, instead of restoring a full backup, you can do so like I'm about to show you here. Let's say I lost the index.html file on my RackNerd demo account. Because I accidentally deleted it within Jet Backup version 5, I can restore that individual file without having to restore the full cPanel backup. To do this, let's click on accounts here on the left hand side and click on RackNerd demo which is the cPanel account. In this case, you want to select the account you are working on. But in this example, I'm working on the RackNerd demo account. Then click on view backups. Then click on show advanced settings. And then under backup items here, click on home directory. And then scroll down. Now click on change files selection and go to public underscore HTML. And tick the checkbox next to index.html or any other files you wish to restore individually. And then click on select files. Now click restore and then Jet Backup will restore the file you selected. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.